What's up guys, how's it going? Breath of the Wild's DLC. Man, what a topic for discussion recently. Feel like it's such a mixed bag right now, with people very disappointed and others loving it. But this video, I'm going to dive into more of a specific topic, as you can clearly tell by the title. The One Hit Obliterator. So, I've also heard mixed opinions on this. Some, like me, can't get enough of this weapon, and some believe it shouldn't have been a thing at all in the DLC. This shouldn't just be a thing, but a new weapon we can keep. Come on, you have to admit how fun its trial was. I do not think it's OP, but instead the complete opposite actually. You die in one hit after all. So in my opinion, it's the toughest weapon to use in the game hands down. All Nintendo needs to do is this, make a new update to where you can now pick up the obliterator only after you beat all of the DLC to reward you. Now everything will be normal until you equip it, once you do your health goes all the way down, until you die next. This way you cannot change weapons at will to regain health. This solves a potential issue of people making it to OP if it were to be a real weapon in the game. So, I did a poll on YouTube if people are for or against the idea of keeping this weapon. And one of my subs, named Couldn't Think of a Good Name, actually brought up something that, well, makes a lot of sense. He said, For, because it kills enemies in one hit, but it also allows you to get killed in one hit. So it's fair. But I wouldn't have it for boss battles. It would be unfair if we could have it for boss battles. This is an excellent point. In the Blights, DLC boss, and Ganon battle, it shouldn't be equippable. This wouldn't be a big problem since these bosses encounter their own loading zones to battle. Nintendo would just have to make it not usable past these specific loading zones. And for overworld bosses like Guardians, Lionel, Stone Taluses, and Henixes, I believe it should be usable since they are a part of the overworld and not separate bosses. However, for these stronger enemies, the Obliterator should not be able to kill them in one hit. Instead, on a Lionel for example, it should take roughly 20 hits to kill, and at the same time still maintaining the threat of being killed in one hit. That way, the challenge of fighting a Lionel is still there, but much more fast paced. I know 20 hits sounds like a lot, but it really isn't considering a Flurry Rush can do almost half of that. While I was going through the Champion's Ballad, I noticed on the new shrines, the symbol of it is clearly there. I honestly, falsely believed that once you beat the 16 shrines in the DLC, the Obliterator would form back together, and maybe even wouldn't have to recharge itself as often. You have to admit, that would be so damn badass. If you agree, please spread the word, my fellow Zelda fans, with hashtag ReviveTheObliterator. And if you don't want it back, just simply let me know why in the comments. I'm open for discussion, homies. But we all have to agree, Nintendo, you just love to tease us, don't you? Like, really leaving it here to mess with our heads? Screw saving Zelda, Ganon, I'll be back in a few hundred years. I'm going to sleep. Peace!